Hi, y'all. I'm Jeff. And I'm Becky. And together we're cruising good time. We recently took a cruise aboard the Island Princess, and today we're going to give you a tour of the ship. Stick around to the end because we'll tell you our favorite things about the Island Princess. Our ship tour begins as we embark the Island Princess. Yeah, this is Thanksgiving Day. Uh, we're in Rome at uh, Civitecchia. Sorry if I can't pronounce it correctly. <laughs> There's a piazza there in the Island Princess. To me, it's one of the prettiest of all the types of ships. It's obviously the smallest one because of the uh, smallest ship. Yeah, and then one day we return from Athens, and voila, all the Christmas decorations are up. Yeah, it's pretty neat. We'll go ashore, <laughs> and then uh, they had it all decorated. They decorated the ship about the Saturday after Thanksgiving, just as an FYI. And they really did a great job. The piazza in the Island Princess is unique in that it covers four decks. It goes all the way from deck five, six, seven, and deck eight. All the larger ships only do three decks with their piazza, but they're bigger diameter. Yeah, so it's a beautiful piazza, but its I don't think it's as functional for me as the other ones. They do, don't do quite as many activities that everyone gathers around to watch in the piazza. Yeah, there's no dancing or anything like that, but they'll do the uh, minute to win it type challenges and the Jenga challenges and all that <laughs> stuff they do. They do. So here we are on deck five, the Good Spirits is there. And in the uh, Island Princess, the Good Spirits is where you go get your coffee in the morning, that or up in the uh, buffet. And Good Spirits in the morning will also have a beautiful selection of pastries. Yep. Plenty of places to get some drinks around the piazza. This is guest services deck. It's on deck five as well. Use the app and cruise chat. It, really simplifies talking to guest services. I have to really emphasize that because it saves a lot of time. But the guest services were very helpful with everything that uh, we needed. The Bordeaux dining room is on deck five. The uh, Island Princess has two main dining rooms, one on deck five, deck six, right above each other. Yeah, and we, we have more on that if you look at our chef's table video. They're very, very similar in design, uh, but both are very pretty. I like the ceilings. The ceilings are kind of a classic princess ceiling there and the decor. Yeah, you know, the video doesn't really capture how um, pretty the lights are on the on the ceiling. Yeah, I obviously recorded this in like the middle of the afternoon with a <laughs> turning around between lunch and dinner. Yeah, yeah, but I think even at night, it's hard to capture that yeah. with, with video. Up on going up on deck deck six, this is always stern. They have the exercise gym up here. It's a pretty complete gym. Yeah, a lot of uh, uh, machines and weights and all that. The only thing that's really missing is the view of the ocean <laughs> that you get on the uh, the other ships. There's no windows looking out, so it's uh, the explorers lounge is the midship lounge, uh, like it is on most all of the uh, princess ships. This one seems to be a little bit larger for proportionally for the number of passengers, probably because there's just really only two on this deck, the, this and the wheelhouse bar. Very good layout. Uh, they had a live band in there just almost every night and then all the game shows and all that too. We spend a lot of time in the Explorer's Lounge. The, the Explorer's Lounge on this one also held the elite, uh, afternoon elite uh, cocktail party. And this is the only time I've ever seen the Elite uh, completely full. <laughs> this, this ship in particular, over half the cruisers were Elite and Platinum on this one. So it was very, very full of very seasoned, uh, long-time travelers. The name of this band is Asian Soul. I really loved Asian Soul. We really enjoyed dancing to their music. Moving forward, there's the casino. Uh, the casino on this ship is pretty small uh, compared to the others. It's not a, nearly as well decorated. It had this kind of half craps table right there. <laughs> but, you know, it had the blackjack and the other cards and plenty of slots. Uh, so it was a fun time. Poker table there. And it didn't seem overly crowded in the evenings. 
Yeah, and it didn't seem very smoky either, which is nice. A lot of shopping. Uh, the Epi shop, which I think is probably on all Princess ones. And if you want to have a new way to hold your medallion, they have places to purchase it here. Yep. I like the standard wristband. Yeah, I use that rubber wristband a lot. It's uh, very durable. More shops as you get up by the piazza on deck six. In fact, all of deck six around the piazza is just nothing but shops, whether they're uh, souvenirs and or uh, liquor or clothing, clothing, jewelry, watches. Princess makes it very easy that if you forgot something from home, you can just go pick it up. Perfume. <laughs> Makeup. <laughs> Deck six has the Provence uh, dining room, which as near as I can tell is an identical layout as the Bordeaux uh, below it. This Pr Provence is where we actually mustered for most of our short excursions in the morning. So it's really easy to kind of spread out, plenty of room while you wait for your short excursion number to get called. Yeah, and, and while you're waiting, they offered coffee. Yep. Yeah, that was nice to have the coffee there. Baked Alaska Parade on the last night of the cruise. This is in Provence Dining Room. And it was good Baked Alaska, I enjoyed it. Deck seven, uh, starting again in the uh, stern, kind of coming forward. There's the, uh, the steakhouse, they call it the Bayou Cafe on this ship, uh, but it is a steakhouse, has a little New Orleans flair to it, uh, obviously by the name and the decor. We did not try it, so I can't say how good it is or how bad it is. We were quite happy with the main dining room uh, on the ship. Yeah, and sometimes they held entertainment in here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they would do some trivia in there and some uh, stuff like that. And I think they had some bands and some dancing in there too, didn't they? Yeah, I was in there for some music one yeah. night. Move a little forward on uh, deck seven. You have the Sabatinis here. I tried to get inside Sabatinis, but they had it closed and locked every time I came by. <laughs> so I did get some uh, views through the window. It's a standard Sabatinis menu. One thing on the Island Princess, they open up Sabatinis as an Alfredo's Pizzeria. They did it once on a sea day at lunch. They also open up the Wheelhouse Bar for a Salty Dog Gastro Pub at a sea day uh, for lunch on the tour because they don't have those restaurants separate. So you have, if you have the Princess Plus, you can get your two casual dinings in only if you're really quick to hit That's the That's right, openings. you got to hit it just perfect. <laughs> of course, the obligatory area has the art for the auctions. They have the Platinum Photo Studio there. So they have the Wedding Chapel, which also can be a meeting room. And Crooner's Bar is right there in the Piazza and Deck, or Deck 7. Well, they make an excellent Manhattan on this one. And a good piano bar, as on all the ships that have a Crooner's. Uh, it had excellent piano players and fantastic martinis. <laughs> We spent a lot of time at Crooners. We really enjoyed the feel of this bar on the ship. Yeah, it was a, and a, and a uh, musician too. I like the musician a lot, and to make a good uh, Manhattan. <laughs> There's the Churchill's uh, cigar bar, and uh, so that's a little smoking area right there, right off the piazza as well the Deck 7 Piazza from here. This is a shop before it was made up for Christmas. Yeah, I never really smelled any um, cigarette or cigar smoke No, they did on, a really on, good job on the ship. That. Yeah. Wheelhouse Bar uh, going forward. It's quite large for the size of the ship. It's as big as the Wheelhouse Bar I found on the Ruby or the Emerald, the gym class ships. And they have a band in here every night as well. And during the day, it's a good place to just kind of come out and if you want to play games or something like that, it's a good thing to do that. 
It's a beautiful room. I really enjoy the wheelhouse bar. Princess Theater is quite large for it. Uh, it's a single deck, it doesn't have a multi, uh, like a balcony type deck like some of the bigger ships. But wherever we sat, we had a good view. The promenade is also uh, like a lot of Princess ships. You can walk completely around the ship outside, except for around the stern, you have to cut through the, uh, the aft elevator staircase area. But you can walk all the way up to the bow and around. And um, so that's a lot of fun. It's fun to get out there and get a, some fresh air and see what's going on. Yeah, you can do your lap there or uh, on the top of the ship. Deck eight, uh, the top of the piazza is very nice. Like I said, this is unique that they have a deck eight on the ship, uh, or deck eight on the piazza on the ship. They have the library up here on Deck 8, which is a very large library. A lot of places to play like games or read books and just kind of chill. They um, also had quite a selection of different games and puzzles that mm -hmm. you could check out. Yeah, it was very, very well stocked library too. I was quite impressed. And then there's a future cruise uh, area and then the shore excursion desk is up here on deck eight as well so to handle all that moving up to aloha deck uh this is where the towards the stern this is where they had the kids and the teen center there we didn't have any kids or teens traveling with us so this is all you get to see is just the hallway <laughs> But when, years ago, when our kids would travel with us and they do this, they just loved the programming that Princess put on. They did. In fact, um, they were aboard the Island Princess and they had a great time. Yep. Every deck on every Princess ship has a laundromat, which is I find very uh, helpful. This one has a lot of laundromats in it for his cruise ship at Cyrus. Of course, half of them were broken, so maybe it works out to be the same. Well, uh, on other decks, that wasn't the case. That's true. <laughs> they all have an ironing board. And by the way, the ironing board and irons are free to use on uh, all these ships. So if you need to press your shirt real quickly for a formal night or something like that, you can run down there and do that. And they all have a vending machine for uh, soap and softeners and all that stuff and then it's all run by the medallion of course this one's broken on this particular deck at this time <laughs> and i didn't go down to record it on another one but you scan your medallion on this and it gives you tokens for the wash uh and for the the soap whatever you need and there's a pile of unclaimed socks sitting on top of the uh, <laughs> deal up on the lido deck they have the uh spa area that's the menu of the spa right there you can see they have quite a bit of things to offer and then we went through the whole spa. Yeah, the staff was very, very friendly. And of course they have all the normal things that you may want to select for a spa, like the massages or... Haircuts, ped pedicure, manicures. Okay. We got these hot uh, benches, which I sat on and I'm like, why does anybody want to sit on a hot bench? But I guess <laughs> some people like it. So. <laughs> They'll sell you a discount right where you can get your spa time for the entire cruise or you can do it for a day. My niece said she absolutely loved it on the Enchanted Princess. Anyway, I love sitting on this warm seat. Jeff? Yeah, it's very nice. It, I found it a little too warm for me. <laughs> then they have some thermal spas there. They got a hot uh, spa, uh, like a, a sauna. And then they also have a steam room as well, right off that area. But like Becky said, you buy a pass for these. Go visit them the first day while you're still in port. They'll have an open house and they'll have a few specials going on. You can see my glasses got steamed up there. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a massage room and uh, all the different uh, therapies they can do with different types of massages and hot and cold muds and everything else. 
there's some supposed to be the hot stones. Yeah, the hot stones. This is the men's locker room right here. So it just have, you know, the lockers and a little changing area. Uh, of course, I had the uh, restroom facilities that I didn't film, but it's just right off that area right there. Moving forward on that uh, Lido deck, the Island Princess has an indoor pool, which I really liked, uh, especially since we're traveling in the Mediterranean in uh, wintertime. We had a few winter storms come through. But you could still swim while it's uh, inside there. I tested the water temperature and it was just a little brisk for swimming. And I was so excited though that I did take advantage and swim more than once in the indoor pool. The outdoor pool was too cold for my tastes. Yeah, we had, uh, uh, the time we were in the uh, GNC, we had a big winter storm show up for about three or four days. And so the wind was quite windy up there in the outdoor pool. It was rather brisk, but there's two levels around this pool, just like there would be on the, uh, the outdoor pool. So you can uh, hang out by the pool and they have some ping pong tables in there. A lot of guys were playing ping pong, two hot tubs. I have a bar in the inside one here, and they also have the uh, ice cream place, Swirls. We spent a lot of time at the Lotus Pool. I liked all the greenery in there too. That bar makes really good dirty banana, by the way. And then Swirls ice cream. Uh, that's where you can get some of your premium desserts from there. And then going forward, they have the, the main pool right there. This is the outdoor pool. It has a couple hot tubs. And this is also where the uh, theater under the stars is. So uh, they'd have some movies going there and concerts every now and then. Yeah, and the Lido deck pool was, once again, too cool for my taste to swim in. But the hot tub was very nice. We did get in a hot tub several times. And it has the Lido bar right over there on one side of it. And then on the other side, they have the uh, uh, pizza by the slice place. And that pizza is complimentary, by the way. It's not part of the casual dining, so you swing by there and get a piece. They make great pizza, in my opinion. I really enjoy it. Yes, and they have they have at least two pizza types each day. The Horizon Court is forward on this ship. It's unique in that case that it's uh, the buffets at the front. They had the hand washing station right there as you go forward. We were kind of midday on this, so they didn't have a whole lot of food out compared to like if it was lunch or uh, dinner time. We did eat buffet uh, breakfast in here uh, several days, though. Yes, we had, we had several breakfasts here. They were very, very good. The times I got a little bit of something for lunch, it was good. It was clean and organized. We had nice was, service. The, the flow of pedestrian traffic through it was just really great. It's the best of all the shows. better than the gym classes and grand classes, and it's better than the royal classes, in my opinion. See, we're there at Thanksgiving <laughs> during this winter. We actually boarded it on Thanksgiving Day. In Rome but all the food was very good the food in the main dining rooms was outstanding they really, really liked the food on the island princess yep. this is the other coffee bar right up here it's the very front of the ship in the horizon court but you can get your cappuccinos and expressos up here at this area too and just happens to be by the tin layer cake that you can get them <laughs> cut you a slice of tin layer cake if you want that to go with your oh. cappuccino. Now those are tin layer cakes to purchase. Oh, you can okay. buy you That's can buy true. celebration cakes and they have them on display. And our friends were there at the end of the evening. They were cutting them up and serving them to guests. <laughs> <laughs> so. A lot of butter there. We have a whole video on the princess butter. The sun deck is right above the Lido deck. This is back to the stern again. And uh, they have the, the sanctuary retreat over here. And this is this is an area where you have to pay for these chase lounges, kind of a little more secluded. Um, we're here during, in port, so uh, that's why we're able to come in and film it. 
But it's nice. It's a really padded Chase lounges there. And nice views. They have these cabana uh, things here that you can rent as well and rent that for the day. And then you can walk around this ship quite a bit on up on deck 17 as well. This is the second floor around the pool, the balcony area. This is those windows look in on that lotus pool, that in, indoor pool right there. Let me go forward and you got the main pool, the hot tubs right up there. It's pretty standard cruise ship layout right there at the multi-deck with all the chase lounges. The Island Princess had a plethora of chase lounges. Yeah, it was a very good, very good ship. The, uh, going forward, they have this little splash pool all the way forward. And we went up here, we're actually, if you see the, uh, the ground behind us, we're going through the street, Straits of Messina right here, which is only like, I, don't, I can't remember, two or three miles wide between the toe of Italy and uh, Sicily. So it's kind of neat to go through these straits and catch the view up here from this deck. And one of the things we like the best about princess ships in general, coming back from the shore excursion, get that cold towel, <laughs> and then they have some uh, chilled water and uh, which, with like some uh, fruit. Yeah, a little fruit in there and all that. It's very refreshing as you get back from a. Jeff, out of the princess cruise ships that we've been on, what did you like? best about the island princess i liked the small ship i liked the crew to passenger ratio a lot it seemed even though it's a small ship mm -hmm. seemed like it had a tremendous amount of room roomier than the larger ships in many cases and i liked the headroom getting on and off the ship down on deck four when you get on and off i didn't have to duck getting off the deck <laughs> regal princess and uh, uh ruby princess you have to duck going through that door so it's a it's a big difference there Becky, what did you like about the Island Princess? I loved the food. I thought the food in the yeah. main dining room was fabulous. Really terrific food. Really enjoyed it. Uh, and for afternoon tea, I had the best scone I've ever had. Really enjoyed the food aboard the ship. Mm -hmm. Also loved the Lotus swimming pool. I loved being able to get indoors when it was a little windy and cold outside, and they did have the pool heated enough to swim. I loved that. That was very nice. Okay, and you know I'm going to have to make a plug for the Explorer's Lounge. I like the lounge. <laughs> I think it's a great venue for them to have, like, the game shows, as well as it has enough room for a good dance floor. And I really enjoyed dancing to... Uh, Asian Soul, Asian. who was the band on this ship. Yeah, they're a very good band. I really enjoyed that a lot. Thank you so very much for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, leave a comment. They all help the algorithm find us and really appreciate your help with that. Until next time, have a cruising good time.